from the WYLN studios in Hazleton and all over northeastern Pennsylvania, this is WYLN News. Good evening and thank you for joining us on WYLN News. I'm Paula Dagnan. We begin with breaking news out of Harrisburg. Reports of shots fired just after four o'clock this afternoon, not far from the Capitol in Harrisburg. Now, Governor Wolf reportedly is not in the Capitol at this point in time, and there were no reports of any injuries. Also reports of shots being fired not far away near the Susquehanna River in that area of Harrisburg as well. Again, no reports of any injuries. That is still breaking right now and is under investigation. If we get more before the end of our newscast, we'll let you know. We also begin tonight in Luzerne County, where the body of a man missing since November was found at the bottom of Lake Silkworth on this, the day which would have been his 23rd birthday. Police say the body of Adam Lutz was found this morning. They say they used a mini submarine in Lake Silkworth. Search crews spent five days of intense searching for the Nanticoke man using dive and canine teams from throughout the area. Surveillance video showed Lutz pulled over on Roberts Road, got out of his vehicle and walked toward the lake back in November. Authorities were not able or rather did locate his boots and hat near the lake. Investigators are not saying at this time whether the man's death is suspicious. Fire that ripped through a row home in Shenandoah Wednesday evening has been ruled an accident. State Police Fire Marshal says that the fire got its start in the kitchen in the rear of the home. The fire Marshal said it was ruled accidental due to unattended cooking. Fire crews from Shenandoah and surrounding communities responded in and were on the scene into Wednesday night. No injuries were reported. Two residents of the home were left homeless following that fire Wednesday evening. Emergency responders were called to Mine and Vine Streets in Hazleton around 1030 this morning for an accident involving two vehicles. The Hazleton Fire and Police Departments were called to the scene near the Giant. A Cadillac and Saturn collided. Both vehicles sustained quite a bit of damage. Deputy Fire Chief Brian Mandek commented on the incident. Uh, we got dispatched for a car accident when entrapment. These two cars were involved in the accident, the one down there, this one here. The, je the older gentleman driving this car was uh, confined in the vehicle by a damaged door and complaining of chest pain. So we extricated the door, took him out, both are taken to the hospital for treatment. H HPD is investigating the cause of the accident. The scene of the accident was cleared shortly after 11. Vine Street once again open to traffic, and there is no word at this time on the condition of those involved in this morning's accident. The president of the Tamaqua Area School Board has been accused of having a relationship with a then 17-year-old girl. A story published by the Philadelphia Inquirer and Daily News says the now 68-year-old Larry Whitting had coached a rowing team that his accuser was on. Annette de Michelle says when she was 17 and Whitting was 29, they had a relationship. At the time, she states in the story, she didn't think anything was wrong, but now does not feel the same way. Whitting has been president of the Tamaqua Area School Board for the past 36 years and is the outgoing chair of the Pennsylvania State Board of Education. Governor Tom Wolf accepted Whitting's resignation from the state board. He was also removed from a leadership council at Drexel University and officials at Philadelphia University and Thomas Jefferson University requested his resignation from their boards of trustees. It's unclear at this time if Whitting will be stepping down from the Tamaqua board. Police in Ashley had an interesting arrest on their hands. They were called to a home on Ashley Street for an abandoned vehicle in a driveway back on December 6th. Police say Lucas Moran and Casey Cunningham came to them to recover the car. That's when Moran stated there was a tool bag in the car that was not his. A few days later, Ashley police were called to a home and which was under renovation. They found the home had been broken into with copper piping cut and stolen along with a tool bag. The victim of the burglary identified his tool bag as the one that police found in Moran's car. 
Moran later admitting his role in the theft was arrested and charged with burglary and other related charges, but ultimately entered a plea deal. Cunningham also arrested and charged with burglary and other related charges. An early morning fire brought out firefighters from three counties. Firefighters were called to 87 Ash Circle Drive in West Penn Township for a garage fire. The call came in around 1230 this morning. The large wood frame garage was lost with heavy damage to a nearby barn. Fire companies from Schuylkill, Carbon and Lehigh counties responded. The clock is ticking for Plymouth Borough Council. They must decide on the 2018 budget by the end of this year. Residents could see a 17.9% tax increase in order to keep the doors of three fire companies open. A proposed lower tax hike of 7.4% would mean that the Goodwill Hose Company would have to close down. The police budget is also expected to increase by 25 percent. That's so they can add more officers and patrols to the borough. Council members have until the last day of the year, December 31st, in order to pass the budget. Coming up on WILN News, we'll tell you who could be facing a rate increase for their sewer authority, plus funding coming for two institutes of higher learning. But first, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast. Tonight, clouds and rain, the overnight low 35. Tomorrow, rain all day with a high near 45. Christmas Eve, we could see some clouds and sun with a high of 38. Then, some snow moving in, and it could end up being a white Christmas day. Don't go away. We'll be right back. It's the year-end eradication. The Burger Family Dealerships have joined forces with Blaze Alexander Family Dealerships to bring you the largest liquidation sale ever. We have 30 days to liquidate $10 million in new and pre-owned inventory. This is your opportunity to save thousands, maximize trade allowance, the biggest discounts, and lowest rates. Stop and shop or visit us online at BurgerFamilyDealerships.com. The year-end eradication is your chance to save thousands. It's only at Burger Family Dealerships in Hazleton, where you'll find the lowest price guaranteed. Hi, I'm Scott Wagner. If there's one thing I'm familiar with, it's taking out the trash. I started this business from the ground up. Harrisburg Insiders take care of themselves, not us. I'm running for governor to clean up their mess. My plan will junk the property tax, cut wasteful spending, and put big government in the dumpster. I've taken out trash before. Career politicians are going to be real easy. Conservative. Reformer. Tough. Scott Wagner for governor. Look, I may be out of line here, but I have to get something off my chest. The little guys in the shop are taking all the credit for this year's number one request. Service Electric's high-speed internet. Sure, it's great. I mean, it flies, and I should know. But the little guys don't even make it. Service Electric does. There. Someone finally had the antlers big enough to say it. They can't tell it's me, right? Uh-oh. Get Service Electric high-speed internet free for two months, including free installation. Call today or visit secb.com slash holiday. Customers of the Greater Hazleton Joint Sewer Authority could be seeing a rate increase. A rate increase of 12 to 16 percent could happen for customers of the Greater Hazleton Joint Sewer Authority as the costs of a multi-million dollar incinerator installation project have exceeded estimates by nearly two million dollars. The authority board recently issued notice of intent to award a $11 million contract for the incinerator project at the authority's treatment plant at the Valmont Industrial Park. Currently, the authority charges a $90 quarterly sewage treatment fee for customers in West Hazleton, Hazleton, and Hazel Township. Customers in Hazleton and West Hazleton also pay a $30 quarterly transmission fee. Hazel Township customers pay a transmission fee to Hazel Township's Municipal Authority, which is responsible for the township's sewage collection system. No word when or if those rate increase will happen.
Areas affected by natural disasters in 2017 will be getting further supplemental appropriations. That's thanks to new legislation passed by the U.S. House of Representatives. $81 billion in disaster relief funding will go to Texas, Florida, and Puerto Rico after the areas were devastated by hurricanes earlier this year. Congressman Lou Barletta backed the legislation and made reforms in the bill to improve how the country approaches and recovers from future disasters. Barletta, Barletta stated that we will now save lives and taxpayer dollars by reinvesting in resilient infrastructure on the front end to protect communities. The bill focuses on pre-disaster planning and mitigation to prevent devastating damage from hurricanes, earthquakes, fires, and flooding. This morning, Senator John Udichak announced that over $1.5 million in state grant funding has been awarded to Wilkes University and King's College. Wilkes University will receive $1 million. They'll be upgrading their pharmacy facilities to allow Wilkes University the ability to deliver a 21st century educational experience for their pharmacy program. Renovations will be made to the Stark Learning Center, including new classrooms, new observation rooms, lab renovations, and a new pharmacy call center. King's College will receive $500,000 for renovations to the former Springbrook Water Supply Company. The building will be used to house their civil and mechanical engineering programs. Renovations will include six labs, four large multi-use classrooms, student study areas, and faculty offices. Word earlier today that a legend in the world of sports broadcasting passed away, that after decades of covering everything from NFL football to tennis. Sportscaster Dick Inberg was known for his catchphrase, oh my. He covered over 40 NFL seasons, 10 Super Bowls, Wimbledon, NCAA basketball games, and the 1982 World Series. He worked for the San Diego Padres before retiring in 2016. He'd received the Baseball Hall of Fame honor for excellence in broadcasting in 2015, and he also has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Inberg died Thursday morning at his home in San Diego from an apparent heart attack. He was 82. Coming up on Makanaqua's News Choice, get to know Silver Pines on Community and You, plus a Merry Christmas from the WYLN family to you and yours. But first, let's take a look at today's winning midday lottery numbers. Good luck if you played. Stay with us. Physical therapy and balance centers. It's spelled different because we are different. Physical is unlike any therapy center you've been to before. If you're tired of living in pain, if you want to move better, overcome an injury or balance disorder, or you just want to improve your strength and conditioning, our highly skilled team of medical experts will help you get back to living the life you enjoy. New mentality, new body, new life. Get physical. Chura's Auto Sales has been serving the area with quality vehicles since 1954. Chura's Auto Sales is known as your friendly dealer and now in their fourth generation and voted the best used car dealer by the readers of Standard Speaker Choice Awards. John Chura would like to thank everyone that voted for his business. When you need a quality pre-owned vehicle, choose from a large selection at Chura's 570-454-7229. Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones.
Welcome to Community and You on WYLN. I'm Gary Aperna. Today we were able to take a tour of a new facility in Schuylkill County called Silver Pines Treatment Center. We learned a lot about what this new facility is doing and how it may help thousands in our area. Silver Pines Treatment Center in Mahanoy Township is a joint commission accredited gender specific detoxification and residential addiction treatment center. Silver Pines was created because there's a need in our community. Um, the investment group um, and owners who, who, who put this together really recognized that there was a shortage of quality services in the area and they just want to contribute to the community and give back to the community and help with this awful opioid epidemic that we're in the midst of. So that's why and that's how Silver Pines came about. William McCabe, the center's CEO, has been working in the field for over 20 years and said this center is on the cutting edge of drug treatment. Well, we, we, want, to, we want to provide them with all the tools that are necessary to help them deal with substance abuse disorders. Um, we have, um, you know, our goal here is to make a difference and give them tools to help them when they go back out into the real world and, and have those quality tools that they need. Um, a lot of programs focus on one or two different modalities uh, where we want to give them more tools. We want to, I, I always use the uh, analogy of we want to give them pillars um, so that when they leave they have, you know, more than just one focus or one thing that they can concentrate on so that they, they can resort to other tools and methods. Silver Pines also offers some alternative treatments for clients. Yeah, we're trying, we're trying to give them more because what's happening is the typical methods that have been used for years um, are failing. Um, we're not giving them and meeting their needs. And the unfortunate thing is, is that with this epidemic that we're dealing with, uh, their needs are very different than, than the models that were created 20, 30 years ago. So we need to do something different. We need to give them more. And we recognize that you know a 12-step program is wonderful, but it can't be the only source of recovery. There has to be other ways to help them and give them better tools. So the holistic and spiritual approach really gives them the ability to take care of themselves, learn about mindfulness, learn about taking care of themselves so that they can have other avenues to follow when they're on their recovery journey. Talk about some of the services you guys are providing that other facilities aren't doing. Uh, the holistic measures, the, the way um, you're kind of tapping into that um, spiritual part when people are coming in. Well, the first thing we do, and some facilities do this as well, is we do a complete and thorough psychological evaluation to really determine what the individual's needs are. And then from that, with in addition to our 12-step model, we also do the evidence-based therapeutic methods based on the, the psychological evaluation. And, and, and then the third piece of that is our holistic and spiritual approach. Um, that's the area where we really help them identify how they can help themselves, uh, self-care. Um, and we offer uh, Reiki, we offer massage therapy, we do acupuncture for cravings and impulsive behaviors. Uh, and, and we have quite a, a, a variety of different spiritual and mindfulness exercises. We use aromatherapy um, and, and it's just, it, it's a little bit um, kind of cutting edge. Um, you know, a lot of uh, people are, are just really adapting to this um, and it really gives them something else to feel that they can grab a hold of. McCabe walks us through the process when someone comes into the center. Well, upon the intake, we determine what level of care is required. If they need de detoxification, we will do an assessment to determine that, and they will then be referred into our detoxification program. Uh, once they go through that, uh, they're medically monitored, they're managed, uh, they're, 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 they're taken through the whole process until they're ready to step down into the residential program. Once they go into the residential program, we'll begin looking at what their individual needs are. We, we do a multidisciplinary approach. We work with the clinical team to determine what is in the best interest of the client and the client's family. And then we develop their treatment plan based on that. And then we do a continuing care plan so that when they complete treatment here, they can continue that when they leave the facility. 
Silver Pines Treatment Center also works with other organizations in the area. Absolutely. Um, this is just the beginning for people. Um, the road to recovery or the journey in recovery is a lifelong process. What we do here is we introduce them to the tools that they need and then this level of care will prepare them for the next level of care, which is usually a step down to either a partial program or an intensive outpatient program or even sometimes an extended care program. The center's primary function is substance abuse, but they are also working with individuals facing other addictions. Well, we are a substance abuse disorder treatment program. However, we do deal with process addiction, so we can treat somebody who has other addictions in addition to the substance abuse addictions. Uh, we can work with gamblers, we can work with eating disorder folks, um, we can work with shopping addiction, um, video game addiction, any of the process type addictions we can treat. McCabe said the ownership is very committed to this area and helping our community through this opioid epidemic. I think that one of the things that attracted me to Silver Pines was the commitment from the ownership group. Um, they recognized that this particular service was under, this, this particular community was underserved uh, in regards to this type of programming. And they're giving us basically a blank slate to create something that is different. Um, not that we're better than anybody else, but we're going to be different. We're going to do things different. Uh, we're going to utilize the research that out, that's out there. Mm -hmm. uh, we're using some medical assistance uh, when it's appropriate. And we're treating individuals. We're not cookie cutter treating mm -hmm. everybody the same way. Um, and then we're also addressing the underlying tr tr traumas, things that create the addictions, you know, the things that happen to folks prior to their substance abuse. Um, and we're working through that in a therapeutic community. Um, the level of clini clinical staff that we have, uh, we have a, a medical doctor as our d medical director. Uh, we have a clinical psychologist on staff who is well versed in the addictions world. And uh, we have a multidisciplinary clinical team that is, um, you know, th their, their talent is unparalleled um, and, and it's a very good quality team. To learn more about the Silver Pines Treatment Center, you can log on to their website at silverpinestreatmentcenter.com. You can also call them at the number at the bottom of your screen, 570-773-5388, to get more information about them. Thanks for joining us here on Community and You, everyone. I'm Gary Perna. At All American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, we treat our customers like family. Because to us, nothing is more important than family. So come on in and let our family get your family into a new Chrysler Dodge Jeep or Ram. Need a work truck or have an active family lifestyle? All American Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram has a wide variety of inventory to choose from. It's the Big Finish event. All American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Tabacqua. Let's try tea. Four Blooms is now open, 668 North Hunter Highway in Drums. Tuesday's happy hour from 5 until 8 in the bar area. Every Wednesday from 6 until 10 is martini night in the piano room. Sip and savor, Thursday from 5 until 8 in the bar. And don't forget about Sunday brunch. That's Four Blooms in Drums. Northeast Gold and Silver inside the Churchill Mall is paying cash for gold and silver. Top dollar for silver coins, national currency, fine and sterling flatware. Stop in or call them at 570-497-4177. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric Mr. Slim ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money saving technology can save you 25 to 50 percent on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and train comfort specialists, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. Well, we thought we would end our newscast here before Christmas with a little bit of uh, some thanks and some Christmas wishes from all of us here at WYL. And first of all, on behalf of the Gans family, Pat, Joe, and Joey Gans, I'd like to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. On behalf of our general manager, Barry Jayas, and the entire staff here at WYL, who works really hard throughout the year to make sure that we bring you the most information uh, possible each and every night here. So this is our last newscast before, uh, well, Christmas, and we'll be back here on Tuesday after Christmas. So we are taking Christmas off and 
while we are off on Christmas weekend and Christmas Day, there'll be a ton of great local uh, Christmas programming here on WYLNs. We encourage you to tune in uh, and watch some of the classics and some of your favorites, a lot of cooking shows, and some of the ones that we've all come to love here each and every year at Christmas time on WYLN. And what is your wish for this Christmas? Oh, well, I'm hoping for like a white Christmas. Like well, just to wake up with just, you know, just a little bit of snow out on, out on the ground. That seems like it's going to be happening because yeah. we're hearing that there could be a little bit of snow for Christmas. So if you are going out Christmas Eve and into, especially if you're going to be heading to midnight mass or any of the evening masses, you may want to plan a little bit of extra time mm -hmm. because uh, it sounds like we're going to get what a lot of people are hoping yeah. for, and what, that is. What could you not love about some snow on like Christmas Eve and the Christmas day and waking up and having some snow outside? And, and then it goes away. Well, yeah, well, <laughs> it will. Yeah, probably it's, it's gonna warm up. But uh, anyway, it, um, Paula, do you have anything that you are really excited for this Christmas? I don't know. There's too much going on. It's just been so busy, so hectic. I think just when we get to the point where we can all sit down and enjoy each other's company mm -hmm. without worrying about anything else. So a Merry Christmas to you and yours. Merry Christmas. Happy family and all yeah. that kind of stuff. And to all of our WYLN viewers out there, a very Merry Christmas. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We'll see you here on December 26th. When it comes to grooming my pet, I take my best friend to Aunt Liz's Diamonds in the Rough, where your pet is one of the family. Auntie Liz and her professional staff will assure you your pet will enjoy the best spa experience possible. Special needs and geriatric pets welcome. Aromatherapy infused ambiance, grooming, styling, and more. With two locations to serve you, 220 West 21st Street, Hazleton, 570-497-6919, and 80 North Mountain Boulevard in Mountaintop, 570-474-5421. Van Hoagland Garden Center is now open on the lofty road just outside of McAdoo. Stop in and get your seasonal favorites. Choose from a great selection of colorful poinsettias and holiday cactus. When you see news happening in your neighborhood, call WYLN News at 570-459-1869 or email us at news at WYLNTV.com or send us a message on social media through Facebook. WYLN, we're your local network. When is the best time to buy? It's now. The year-end vehicle eradication at Burger Family Dealerships. It's the Black Friday sales event. Take $6,000 off any 2017 Jeep Renegade Latitude. Buy a 2017 Ram Bighorn Crew Cab for 20% off or lease for only $354 a month. Lease the all-new 2018 Jeep Compass for only $189 a month. When is the best time to buy? It's now. The year-end vehicle eradication at Burger Family Dealerships, Route 93, Hazleton. Hi, I'm Joe Maggio, Technical Director at WYLN-TV in Hazleton, wishing all our viewers a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. Hi, I'm Julie Stefanovich, videographer here at WYLN, wishing everyone out there a safe and happy holiday season. Hi, I'm Michael Lula, news videographer and sports videographer at WYLN. I'd like to wish everyone out there a very Merry Christmas and enjoy the holidays. And now, from a friend of mine, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night.
apologize You used to kiss your You captured me Now I'm hypnotized On a night like this I can't resist You're the spark that lights my flame